How you doing YouTube? Today we're back with a brand new video. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to uh, uh, one of my family members' house, um, the same person where you seen us block up the, the window from the inside. Um, we have a few stipple ceilings uh, to do for her. We've done, I think it was like seven stipple ceilings already in this house. So uh, we're going to be going and we're just going to be over skimming uh, the stipple because we know it's solid. So, Okay, guys, um, so... I thought I would just do uh, a quick voiceover for this video. Um, these uh, plastering over stipple ceilings um, usually get a lot of questions. Um, so I'm just going to go through, uh, through a few of the questions that I usually get. Um, and just explain a little bit of what we do. So um, firstly, a question that I get asked a lot is, do I use SBR or... PVA when plastering a stipple ceiling um, and the answer is always SBR you can see me painting um, SBR on till the ceiling here a lot of the times <clears throat> you get stippled ceilings and they have a lot of suction so it's a, it's important to um, use SBR now ideally what you would want to do would be SBR the day before um, and then when you come in the next day to skim the ceiling, SBR again, but um, in, in this one what we do is we SBR and we wait for it to go tacky. Um, so it's sort of sticky till the touch, so your finger sticks, sticks to the ceiling and then we'll plaster over the top of that. Um, that's usually your best option. If you go too early, um, the this, this skim will just slide all over the, all over the ceiling because the SBR is wet. Um, and if you go too late, it's, it doesn't really make a big difference with SBR, but I just prefer to go on a tacky. Um, it's just my, what I prefer. So as you can see, the ceiling isn't like a prickly stipple. <clears throat> it's a brushed, like a brush effect. Um, and the ridges aren't very high, so we get away with just over skimming this. Um, and I know the, um, the texture is solid because it was done with skim um so i know it's not going to fall off um i've also done probably seven other ceilings in in this house so i'm i'm pretty happy with um just skimming over the top um another question i get asked a lot um should you overboard um, a stippled ceiling and the, the answer is almost always yes um, I would I offer in my service a price to give them a separate the client a separate price one for overboarding and one for bonding and skimming um, but I also let the, the, the client know that if it's being bonded and skimmed that it's not guaranteed um, the only way to get a guarantee uh, from me Plus, an over stipple ceiling is if it's overboarded, so um, that's something to keep in mind. So, uh, another question that I get asked um, quite a lot is how do you know if the ceiling has asbestos in it? Um, and what I would say there would be um, I would always assume that the ceiling has asbestos. Um, just to keep yourself safe, uh, but there there are a few things, uh, indicators whether uh, asbestos has been used or not. Um, so usually older, older properties, sort of like post-war, um, stippled ceilings 
they'll usually have um they'll they'll usually have asbestos but also right up until i think i think the late mid to late 80s um stippled ceilings or texture ceilings had asbestos in them so it's always a good idea um to check i i always assume as i say that the that there's um asbestos and i i won't scrape these ceilings at all um the only time would i would scrape them would be when i've had an asbestos test done uh, on the ceiling um and then once that's done it's come back clear then i'll i'll scrape and re-skim the ceiling but um again that'll be without a, a guarantee because you can't guarantee that um the plaster's gonna stay up um if if you're going to try to remove well a ceiling with asbestos you're going to need to probably get someone experienced in um every council's different but i know uh, Belfast City Council will remove asbestos as long as it's um, bagged and dealt with correctly. So, you, you you there's a possibility you could do it yourself, but it it wouldn't be something that I would advise anyone to do. Um, it ta- it it costs a lot of money to get it removed by professionals, but um, taking the the pos- the, the possibility of down because of asbestosis it's it's not really worth it so another question i get asked is how to deal with cracks in a stippled ceiling or a textured ceiling um the best way to deal with cracks would be so along the length of the crack it's the usually crack along um joints and plasterboard um mainly or in older houses they'll they'll um the cracks will just be around them but um if there are like straight lines which they usually are on step of the ceilings um it's cracked along a joint in the plasterboard so what you would do is you would go along that joint every sort of two to three inches and screw either side into the joist once you've done that then you put some scrim tape over the top uh, if you're going to do it that way you'll you'll 100 percent need to um bond the ceiling first because you're not going to be able to hide the um scrim tape if you're just skimming luckily the ceiling didn't have any um any cracks in it so it was just a straight over skim so there there are some of the the questions i get asked a lot with stippled ceilings um <laughs> always always bought if you're going to skim them bond them first unless the pattern's not too heavy um yeah so i'll always straighten a stipple ceiling with the speed skim um it's the best way to get it straight um the ceiling you can see i'm walking it um to back and forward from the window usually you would want to do the opposite direction um but obviously i couldn't do that because of the wardrobes in the way so um that's the reason i'm I'm walking it this way yeah so basically what i'm going to do now is i'm going to put some music over the top of the video um and i'm just going to let it play out um i'll come back to it at the end
Okay guys, so uh, that's us finished. Um, so as I was saying, I've actually skimmed, um, it's my cousin's house, uh, and I skimmed probably another seven ceilings, um, and they were all, they were all stippled. It's, uh, it's not stippled, it's like a wave effect. Um, and they've all been dead on. Um, the reason that I knew that they were okay to skim over because it was me that done them, so, um, I knew that they were going to be rock solid, there was nothing underneath. Plus they're relatively new houses too, they are only built in the, the mid 90s, so... Um, <coughs> or so, no sorry, sorry, the, the uh, early 2000s, late 90s, early 2000s. So, um, they're rock solid. Um, yeah, and, and basically that's it for this video. If you, if you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up. Um, check out my social media that's in the description. I have Facebook, TikTok, Instagram. Um, if you want to go and check out my coffee link, um, or uh, buy me coffee link, or uh, my Patreon, or uh, you can go uh, into the description and there's Amazon affiliate links. So how it works is you click on the link, um, it brings you to the tool that I use day to day. You buy it, um, I get a small percentage. If you don't buy it, but go on to buy something else, I always get a, also get a percentage. So it's a good way to support me without supporting me. And that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.